Alright, uh, going to do a little clutch update um, from my Hypo Red Widow to my Redhead Mojave Het Hypo. Unfortunately, no hypos out of this one. Last year I did hit a hypo. Uh, I had three eggs last year out of this same pairing. Um, hit a hypo, but uh, this year, uh, out of six eggs, one went bad, but uh, no hypos. I also threw in one smaller um, Red Widow that I hatched out from a the same uh, Red Widow, or the Hypo Red Widow, to a redhead female who was possibly head hypo. Um, just got a really nice pos or not possible head, 100% head hypo red widow out of it. Hope you can uh, pick up her pattern here. That awesome head stamp really gets it broken up in the back of the head pattern here. And I don't know if you can pick this up, but there's orange at the bottom of the, near the belly. Very, very, very nice combination. Like I said, I know a lot of people do not like spiders now. I mean, everybody's scared of them, it seems, but I think spiders still make some great combinations, including this one. Alright, I believe, let's see what this is. I didn't sex these yet. Male. See if you can see that. Little hemipenes there. Alright, so this is a male. Alright. Grab some of these other ones out. I did not hit a single normal. Every single snake in here is a redhead combination. This is another, I mean, look at this head pattern. I mean, that is crazy. I don't know if you're picking that up, but that head pattern is just insane. I love the Red Widows. But this is another Red Widow, 100% Het Hypo. Again, the pairing was the Hypo Red Widow to my Redhead Mojave, 100% Het. Another male. I did have one birth defect. I'm going to save that one for last. There was one unfortunate birth defect in this uh, clutch. I don't think it's going to be something that's you know needing to be called, but it is something that I will just hold back the snake. But I'll show you that last. Okay, another Red Widow. Again, the crazy head pattern. The alien heads on the uh, pattern still show up the orange near the belly beautiful snake Let's see what I got here this one is a female get in there Alright, so this guy wants to be next, so we'll do this guy next. This is a redhead Mojave. See, still the crazy alien heads. It even um, brings out those Mojave type alien heads. It really. Some of these look like little question marks. Pretty cool looking. I really like the uh, redhead and Mojave combination here. Again, you can see the Mojave sort of hides the crazy looking head pattern. But you can still see the redhead influence on the Mojave here in the back of the head. Let's see here. Another male. Male heavy in this clutch. Alright, this here, just a redhead, 
really, really, really dark, really nice looking redhead here. Really love that belly pattern, or the, I'm sorry, the pattern at the uh, edge near the belly here. How it really flames up and everything on the sides there. Beautiful animal, love these alien heads. There's your redhead markings in the back of the head, I think you can see there. It's a little mark on either side of the head. It's got that copperish, sort of reddish brown, real dark reddish brown head here. Sex this one. Hoping this one's a female. I really like this one, how it's coming out. Come here. And it is, so that's good. Definitely hold back here. Pretty much all my redheads have been hold back so I'm no, still waiting for a super. Now this is a redhead Mojave as well. I was really liking this one. I mean it was really a beautiful example of a redhead Mojave until I got to this eye right here and this was just a birth defect. I don't know what happened. All the snakes in my incubator are incubated the same way. I think this is just a freak thing. Um, I'm gonna keep this one. You know, it's not going to end up being for sale or anything. It's just unfortunate, but uh, it's got like a... It's blind on that side of the eye, and uh, like you said, it looks like a bug eye, goggles. I mean, might nickname this one, I don't know, goggles. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but definitely going to keep him or her. Well, let's see what it is. It's a boy. So... This will be like a, I guess, a little mascot for my redheads. See how it does feeding and everything. It doesn't look like it's going to affect it to me. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the jaw that I can tell. And it does have some swelling on that one side due to the eye, but uh, I'm going to see how it does feeding-wise and keep you guys updated there. Beautiful snake otherwise, though. That's pretty much uh, all I have for uh, this clutch as far as the updates. Alright, you guys have a great day.